<laughs> it's a gouger. Huh? It's a gouger. It gouges you. I just um, realized too, that's the wrong reference. The, the gouge, yeah, yeah. The, also, it's like <laughs> Gao is not. I guess he kind of does blue magic, but he doesn't get he does, hit with he, attacks. He doesn't get hit with it. He jumps onto them and rides away and then comes yeah. back killing their skills. Yeah. Gao sucks. I mean, you remember to get him back. Oh. Yeah, Gao's, sorry, Gao's trash. I mean, is it just me? It's not just me. Gao is it's not, not even worth dealing with. I the always... amount of grinding to get the spells and everything is yeah. a pain in the butt. It's not like, uh, he's not like, what's the other guy, Gogo? Gogo's awesome. Umaru is actually pretty cool too if you give him like whatever items. Um, hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play uh, Super Shell Monster Story, which I consistently refer to uh, when reaching to surf all offline as Dokapon. I'm serious, Jake. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, he's surf all. No, Gao, Gao's. Um, Gao sucks. Like the characters I always use most were the ones. Who were just basically normal characters. Uh, I barely ever used their special skills anyway, like Sword Tech with Cyan. I got over it when I realized how like how much time you were really spending waiting for that to fill. And uh, Blitzes I thought were dumb, so I didn't like Sabin. But yeah, it's just like a character is like, okay, you can get really, really freaking powerful magic. So let's just... Uh, just basically build everybody as mages. Yep. Yeah. It's really uh nice to talk to you about this, you know. Find out how how you three, two, one. three two, <laughs> how unique and special my approach was to that game. I don't think anybody else one thing I did I did learn that I, I patted myself on the back because I was like, oh look how smart I am. I had some guide to what the different espers do when you level up with them equipped and realized Hey, if you change Odin into whatever the fuck, one of them changes to another Esper when you level it up or you do a certain quest and you can't get the old version, then whichever one gives you Meteor turns into the one that gives you Metron, I guess. Or Merton. But the pre-quest version is one of the very few things in the game that gives you one plus speed upon level up. Most of them give you like 10 hit points, two magic points, whatever. So I, I kept the the unleveled version for a long time on Shadow because I thought it would be cool if he had like a lot more turns and shit because he had really high speed. And eventually realized that I've been playing for hours and hadn't noticed any practical difference. So <laughs> it's like if this is a difference, it's beyond my notice. Anyway, but this is actually Super Shell Monster Story, as you might have noticed from the title of the video and nothing else that we've said. And between recording sessions, in addition to doing a bunch of Morano Joe Empire games uh, on stream instead of recording more of this, I also took a little time and leveled up people off screen. But I concentrated my level up, leveling up on people who were not in the party. So... Let them stretch their legs a little bit. Yeah, I gave everybody else a chance to, to shine. You took them for walkies. Yeah, they went for walkies, and they fought a lot of uh, enemies using frame skip uh, immediately outside of the village. But you'll see uh, now, Avat, he remains above everybody else in level, but Ernie is now like our lowest level person. People who are in the party are lower levels than people who aren't in the party. With the exception it's of interesting Rook. too because like Sham being level twenty nine was everyone supposed to be more leveled up by the time we got here and they were just like oh this will probably be a little bit behind for them but we'll just to get to twenty nine for Sham. I don't know I do I do wonder if we were actually less level than you're supposed to be, yeah. possibly which is weird because I did I didn't do an excessive amount of it but I did do a little bit of the old uh, frame skip and leveling up him. They were expecting that. We but, know uh, how kids play these games. They yeah. obsess over them. Now, we could take Sham out and put Rumi in, uh, since she's pretty low level. But uh, otherwise, yeah, like my plan was just to stick with the party we had. I just wanted to showcase that they were leveled differently. And I'll need you to get us back to where we were, because however I was trying to navigate this stuff before, I, I wasn't getting us to the cool places that you were able to find through the magic of... The fact. Let's see, we're past the ice place. 
All oh, right, we're in the dead zone. Dead zone too, right? I think we got the the extra parts already. Elf Reapers reaped us. Yeah, we're all we're all dead now. Um, you can't see us. Senpai. And their spirits were John Cena. It does seem like uh, being dead makes very little difference in the game. But it was well, we got a special deal getting dead though. Like we're not regular dead. That's true. I, I still love her little athletic shorts here. Um, yeah, we're we're kind of special dead. Oh, she can hide now too, eh? Oh yeah, that's that's, that's a good point. Everybody's picked up some new skills. Uh, Avat's got Killer Moon, attack one enemy, damage times two. He learned that from Sailor Moon. Well, I mean, Sailor Moon is known as a serial killer. <laughs> um, Poyon still has basically what he already had. What could go wrong with that? He could cast Joker, that awesome spell. She's got counterattack, hide. So she's basically become Edgar. And um, he's waiting to exhale. <laughs> we haven't used it yet. I forgot he can just suck up, suck up monsters. Suck them up. And he failed. Why don't you gonna learn Mug though, so that we can do damage at the same time? There you go. Oh, nice. Oh, penetration. What? And it's a heart and everything. Weird. Can we take him to dinner first. It's Tommy Titan. That was the animations. That was Zero. pretty sweet, but he, just, he didn't care about it one bit. Killer Moon, Killer Moon, K R W L E R Moon. He's a soulmate. We got the flare rod, so that's sweet. Double penetration. <laughs> Watch out. Double yeah, penetration could not save him. Double penetration, of course, known for saving people. Alright. The answer the answer to my question is level 30, by the way. Oh, what happens at level 30? Oh, we learn. Mug? Rip off. Oh, rip off is like this game's mug? Rip off is this game's mug. You rip them off. Oh, nice. They yeah, was taken for treasure this sleep, but don't worry about me. And yeah, my soul doesn't feel pain or tired as it did when I was alive. Also, I can't physically dig. And the god of death only lets me interact with this one rock and this pickaxe. Otherwise, I just pass through everything. The enemy doesn't see you. I forgot they had, uh... Crucifix as an enemy. Yeah. Death face. Death face, uh, death face, <laughs> death face. That's just a cross. It's uh, not a crucifix. Yeah, it's true. Again, drop. It's true. I think we might have pointed this out last time. I'm going to email the oh. dev. That's an interesting I am near death animation. Yeah, you, you mail that uh, game developer company from the 90s in Japan and tell them. Listen. Next oh, time you're doing not, a game and you want to bring fault. some it's, religious mystery into yeah. it, talk to me first. I'll help you get the terminology. But now that I think about it, it's not their fault. It's just dynamic designs. And I have to say, I am I am pleased that dynamic designs has yet to tell us that it's going to make, like, Shelderado great again. So I'm actually... I'm, I'm going to take what I can get. Look at the little buggy. He's so cute. Godly treats, though. Let's not rob them in the future. <laughs> Man, we're splitting all the enemies in here and happy when they die. So much for us being underleveled. We seem to be doing alright with these fights. Soft lump dropped. Alright, so where do we go from here? Friendo. So, I think we, we already went through the path on the left there, right? Eh? I don't know. Let's try it. Let's make sure. I can even have a pickaxe, he's just working it in the corner by himself. 
went to bed before I knew it had to appear where am I? Oh, he stuck doing the last thing he did. He was in Kansas. Oh, well, was that what he was doing? <laughs> he was in bed. He just, he just went to bed. <laughs> I mean, he could have been sleeping. <laughs> you don't want to die in your sleep if the afterlife is you just do the last thing you were doing. Like, oh, man, this is really boring. All I do is sleep. Uh, you know, I've had days where I could envision the afterlife as being just sleeping all just you want. Nap. Yeah. The big sleep. I guess that would get boring, but like, so in almost anything else. I went off on this. I went off on weird asides in Neo 2 in particular because it's got. It, like a theme is uh, people who are kind of you know between this life and the, the next and need to set set aside their earthly attachments before they can move on. And there's a there's a place in that game. It's it's very beautiful and it has this very soft idyllic music playing and it's it's kind of a limbo. And it's also really small. <laughs> like I'm like <laughs> I could picture like enjoying the tranquility of this place, but I don't think it would take like a thousand years. You'd just get really fucking bored. <laughs> right. Get some of these godly treats used up. I know it's like I'm a whole different person from uh, previous videos. <laughs> Realize that 99% of enemies drop it as the steel thing anyway. Mm. So we've been here. But is there more stuff we can do here? Enemy doesn't see you. That is a goofy looking ghost knight. <laughs> his face is... Uh, his... He went to put his hat on on a jaunty angle, but instead he put his face on on a jaunty angle. But he's undrawable. He couldn't steal from him, despite the fact that he couldn't see you. Well, we tried to, like, uh, grab something out of his um, pocket, but uh, we didn't have pockets. But we're dropping all sorts of soft lumps. And this should lead us to an area full of water when we get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I think we... I think there was a monkey down here we got. Oh, ghost. Do a fire one, because uh, they didn't care at all about uh, Earth. Oh, magic I'm just cloak. excited that they made it a magic cloak. Never mind. I was like, I'm just excited that these uh, ghosts didn't accidentally look like KKK members. Well, they look like KKK members who wash their robes with something bright red. Well, they're, they don't have the pointy top. Well. They but then you stole the magic robes top. from them, so they're really just wizards, I guess. One of them had a reflecty thing, but, uh, well, never mind. It didn't really <laughs> He's see that deflating. Much <laughs> He's deflator mouse. Yeah, so many magic cloaks. When this uh, mage in the middle first showed up, Three I didn't notice the little skull thing he was holding, and I read him as an angry Scotsman. Yeah. He could still be an angry Scotsman, he's just holding the skull thing. I guess that's true. Though his kilt seems more like it's uh, made of grass. We got an again drop. Again! All right, so yeah, I think this is... There should be a splash of water that will take us up somewhere else here as well. And the fans at and home are like, wait, how long has it been since you played? And why didn't you think it was worth looking up what you'd already done? But no, this is this is starting to seem familiar now. Just because these guys do again drops. Yeah. Yeah.
Oh, oh here we go. Them. Moment of truth. Gain new skill. Rip off learned. Nice. Rip off deal is still dealing. And I'm going the wrong way. So anxious am I to see rip off in action. I'm pacing around the room. Rob all enemies. Also, never mind. It's not. Well, mug. It's not even mug. It's just stealing from everyone. So targeting Corey. Oh, it takes more than one turn. And in that time, we'll murder everyone. We'll Maybe murdered. like you took one damage. You cannot mug people anymore. What if it just we just take one item and it just and picks which cool. of the three it wants us to take it from? That would be the worst skill ever. Like demonstrably worse than our regular old skill. You failed? No, they're separate skills checks. Mm -hmm. Now we can fail faster than ever. <laughs> so if there's one enemy, it's not worth it. If there's two enemies, it's break even. But if there's three or more. Ah. Uh... I like the idea of it, but I feel like in most cases, like, there's only going to be one enemy in a group of multis that, like, we care about the thing you can steal from it, you know? Yeah, but those extra godly treats, uh, you're getting from the side boys. <laughs> side boys. Is that what you call those little, uh, pieces little that you got going? Yeah, Not in the middle, on the side. Although every once in a while it turns out one of those side boys is the real boss. Yeah. We're looking at you, Lavos, right, uh, whatever. Fuck you, man. <laughs> I'm not forgiving you for this, Lavos. Okay, uh... Why did I stop? What am I doing? Oh yeah, Magic Cape. Uh, I want to check this out. Actually, it's probably just as fast to go straight to items. Straight to items. And to the bottom. And to the bottom. You put your down down. You thrust your pelvis. Oh. Press A for information. Whip the body. Koopy and Rumi can use it. So nobody currently in the party. But we've stolen two. And that's as many as it looks like that's we'll ever can. need. So. Oh, but you know what? Soft lump. What the fuck does that do? I know we, we did look it up last time, but... You're petrified. Mm. If you've been, if you've been in, stoned for over four hours, see your doctor about getting a soft lump. I just did, I just did sort, hoping it would put like usable stuff at the top. That is not what it did. Okay, sort two looks like uh, that's what I wanted. Yep. It's one of them fancy Japanese toilets. And this takes us back to where we ended the last video. Okay. There we go. Alright, perfect. Um, so let's scrap all this footage and start over. <laughs> what do we actually... So what do we want to do from here? Now the Avatar and Ernie looks like they're discussing uh, you the You want to go issue. back. <laughs> and I know we went through the, uh, the Helper Andre zone already. But when you say go back, you mean... Like, I think you can just jump. I just keep on going back. Okay, well, we should, so we really shouldn't have come here, but it's okay. We really shouldn't have come here, but we didn't. We didn't remember. And the folks at home, they didn't remember either. It's been a week. All right, we're gonna test rip off. Well, don't kill anybody. Mm -hmm. Oh you fuck you, you, game! <laughs> there is a run button. <laughs> Yeah, but they, but we can't escape. We can't escape. You're cutting this guy's face in half now. Wait, underneath he actually is a minion. Silk robe. Yeah, we also um, turned our uh, cat thief lady on her love interest, so fun that we could do that. Hey, I don't make the rules. 
That is true. All right. So we're just heading back Hello? to the very beginning of the level at this point. I passed this guy, sweating a lot. And I uh, head up north. Now, coming up soon, we should be getting a, f a fight for Ernie. Oh. Or is Ernie so going to get kidnapped and we got to rescue him? Enemy doesn't see us. We don't care about that. I guess that would have been a good time to go for the ripoff skill. Ball. Not all souls up here have been judged good. We've had a recent influx of others. You know, Jewish souls. <laughs> Sorry. Jeez, I was gonna go with smoke monster references and stuff. I just oh no, that probably would have been better. No, I was you were, yeah, I was thinking about those KKK ghosts from before. <laughs> In fact, I would say that Vaughn Mountain has been invaded by evil spirits. Oh, it, is, it is Vaughn Mountain, that's German for from the mountain. Well we have had a lot of crucifixes, so yeah. In name only. Can't escape. Oh man, that was the three stroke death punch. Three stroke retreat punch. All right. We'll have an Ernie battle coming up. Yep. The Ignore Andre this Andre block, Rock. Okay. We've been through there before. We'll let the rock be alone. Andre doesn't need to steal his thunder. Let the rock continue its preparation to play the role of the Scorpion King. And there's that Ernie battle you mentioned. That Ernie battle, yeah. A little dip in the hot springs of Von Mountain always peps me up. Ooh, we better be able to find this hot spring later. Ooh, it's like we got sucked into battle with this thing. All right, so we definitely want to um, this is one of those games where the high cost spell is actually more efficient. I don't remember, but we would want to throw down a save before we interact here in case, just in case this is super death battle. Oh, look, we found a nerd that fits the description perfectly. I wonder. You know, like Vaughn Mountain, I wonder. Could a summon monster be lurking inside? It's always fun to investigate. Come with us, let's check inside and see if we might find something useful for our quest. Be careful though, one never knows when you might fall into a deadly trap. Yes, the seal appears to be the type that contains the sort of creatures I love. Avatar, I notice you're being very quiet. You're not really responding to me. It feels like a monologue rather than a dialogue here. A little braver on our part, and we may recruit a fearsome monster for a servant. Avatar just a little creeped up about creeped out about the types of monsters he loves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to make his servants. It was awakening me from my eternal sleep. Well, now that I'm free, you may call on me. He's kind of a disinterested Barava. Oh. If the going gets rough, and you need my strength to win, I'm available. But first... Oh, it sounded like he wasn't going to fight us, and now he is. Yes, I think they have the same dialogue, except for that the other ones say, hmm. But first... Ooh. Flame Demon. Oh man, he's an upgrade of Fire Leo for sure. Uh, why is our order different here? Uh, Ernie's the leader of the party because uh... he opens things. Well, I'm gonna say water probably hurts this guy. Medium water. All. Oh. I'm gonna say Killer Moon probably hurts him. Oh, damage. You no, know, we, we could win this real fast with Joker game. I don't even know if that, like, 
work on bosses, you know? Blind enemies all. Sand blind. I mean, he's got a pretty strong just regular attack if he doesn't have any water attacks. Oh yeah, no, I'm looking to see if there's any status stuff that's worth trying on the first turn or two. I wasn't planning to stick with it for long. Let's see what we can steal from this guy, though. Yeah. We can fail to steal. Oh boy, was that it gaining hit points? Wasn't that number yellow? I was looking at trying to look up the summons. It's not brought up in the FAQ outside of the summon thing, so he might not have any good steals. Neither of the FAQs are entirely um, I'm just pleased that it does look like poison works on him. Oh, here we go. Fire shield, fire knife, fire sword. How many mouths does this thing have? Yeah, I think a vat is healing him. Is he? Is he holding a fire sword? Yeah, I, I'm saying he must be because I I don't know how to change it in battle. But you go to items and like scroll to the top. Oh, you can. Okay, so let's not just throw this battle away then. So, I mean, oh. what spells does he have? Fire. He's got healing and fire magic, so no, we are not... We are not... He could be healing! Look at Poyon! He, he's our primary attacker. I'm not sending him in there to not be able to attack. Ah, Poyon's just saved. Attacker. We just have to give him a different Whoppet. You got yourself an ice, ice thing? Probably not. Uh, I don't think we have an ice thing. And we got a Scorpion Dirk, which actually does more damage. There you go. So. You any fire shields or anything like that floating around? This would be a good time for that, wouldn't it? Come on, give him the, the 60 hit points. Yeah. That could make the difference, you know. The people who are doing terrible against, uh... She's gonna be stealing. She should have a, uh, shield instead of a second dagger. But only if it affects magic defense, and it doesn't. Oh, this thing says he's weak against poison as well, so there you go. Yeah, okay, well, I figured that out on my own, but uh, we're, we're pleased that it, it worked out. Oh, he's not just susceptible, though. He's this weak. gives slightly better magic defense. I don't think it's going to be that bad of a battle now that Abat's got his uh, sword changed out that we need to... Oh, it depends on whether we try to keep him alive for an extended period to get treasure from stealing, because I don't know how well uh, that's going to work. The one FAQ didn't even bother mentioning yeah. stealing from him, so... So what will happen now? Apparently we may have gotten a fire shield already from the ant line layer. We might have, we might not have. Uh, it didn't look like we could equip one on uh, your boy Poyon, but that might be because somebody else has already got it equipped. Or because we don't have one. At any rate, the exciting showdown using the correct uh, Wapit is going to have to wait until next time. I'm Mysterious AG. I'm Zerfall. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys then.
Bye.